All right. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble two of your panels for your mini chess. Uh, it's not going to be any, or it's not going to be much different than putting other types of either doors or um, other type of raised panels that are very similar to this. The only thing that might be different is how many of the the space balls that you're going to be putting in. On something small like this, you just have to put a single space ball, one in each of your rails and uh, two in each of your, I'm sorry, wow, just got it backwards, uh, one in each of your styles and two in each of your rails. Um, but if the, the styles are longer, you might have to put two in. It just kind of depends on what you're doing. Okay, so what I have set up as it is right now, this is for a right-handed assembly. If you are left-handed, you're going to swap the top and bottom rails, the top rail is going to be to your right, the bottom rail is going to be to your left. I am right-handed, so I am going to keep it in this orientation, just like this. Uh, notice that I've got blue paper down to catch all the glue drips. I've got my bottle of glue and my hammer. One thing that you're going to want to check before you start gluing, obviously, is to make sure that the, the hole in your bottle is open enough. If it's not, um, either you can get me to help you open that up, I've got my ways of doing it, or um, best thing to do is just get some help from me. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, obviously get it all laid out. You've got your two clamps, you've got your styles that are face to face, your top and your bottom rails in the right hand orientation for me. I've got my panel handy here and before um, we do any of the gluing, you've got to make sure that your panel is sanded just around the curve or the, the coves on the front and then make sure that these two sharp corners um, right here at the top of the opening are also broken and eased. Just use a piece of sandpaper and old sanding disc to take care of that and uh, we're going to get going from here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, my space balls that I have laid out. I'm going to put those in position. So there's those there on the rails. So I've got two on each of the rails and one in each of my styles and they're in position. Now I can start the process. So I'm going to do a bead of glue on each of the corners of this tongue that's sticking out here. And I'm already starting to make a mess. Just another day in paradise. So just make sure that you've got two beads of glue on your tongue. Put the top rail in position. Get your panel put in position here. And then go to your bottom rail. Two beads of glue on the top and the bottom corners of the tongue here. And then put it in position as well. Take your style and uh, put it up top. Now again, just a reminder, make sure that your back side is face up. This is where we're going to do all of the pounding. You don't want to have to tap on the faces and create dings. Um, I am going to be using the hammer on this. The camera is on the workbench, so there is going to be a little bit of vibration as I'm pounding. So it's not, it's not anything weird with the camera. I'm going to use my hammer to tap these in, make these even. Right now I don't have any clamp pressure on them, so I could, in theory, move them okay without the use of the hammer. So I'm making these flush. I want the edge flush with the ends on both sides. Bring up the clamp. I'm going to snug this. So just realize there's three settings. There's no pressure, there's snug pressure, and then there's tight pressure. Right now it's just snug. I want to use the hammer to tap the styles down so they're touching the bar of the clamp. If you have it tight, it makes it a little bit more difficult to tap these down and make a move. So that's why I only want to see them snug to begin with, and then I can tighten them up from there. I'm going to take all the glue off of the panel, including the ends. You might as well take the stuff off the ends as well, uh, and then come to the other one. So I'm working from the top 
to the bottom. I always set this one first. This always has to be flush. Now, in the event that you have cut either your top rail, your panel, or your bottom rail just a little bit narrow, sometimes you have to move this up a little bit beyond this point, um, say a little bit inside, so it looks like that the styles are just a little bit long. If that's the case, it's not the end of the world, just as long as the top edge is all flush. The top edge is flush with the top end of the style. Uh, my sizes are just fine, so I'm going to tap this in, make this flush, and make, make that flush there. So that looks good. I'm going to snug it up, a little bit of clamp pressure, tap it and tighten it up, get all the glue off of the surface of the panel, because I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure the diagonals. So I've got in the, these measurements, you have to be perfectly, perfectly precise. If it's a little bit over, um, in this case, I'm at 16 and just a skosh under 7 eighths. If that one is just under 7 eighths, this one should be the same, and it's not. I've got it at 15 sixteenths. So this is the long direction. I'm going to take the clamps and I'm going to angle both of them in that same long direction. And when I do that, it's going to pull it so it's square. So I loosen them one at a time, angle it, and depending on how much off they are, that's going to determine how much you angle them. So if you were to angle them, oh, let's back that off a little bit. So snug, tap and tight, always remember that. Loosen it, angle it snug, tap and tight. If I go back and I measure these, okay, it's just a little bit over 7 eighths, and a, uh, it's within reason. I could probably, yep, right there. They're both a little bit over 7 eighths. If they were still just a little bit off, just a little bit different, um, if it started to move this way but it needed to go just a little bit more, I would loosen them one at a time and I would angle them just a little bit more so it made that extra adjustment. Sometimes when you angle them, sometimes you angle them too much and then this one, so this was the long direction, sometimes if you angle it too much, it'll pull it so this one is longer and this one is shorter. So it feels like you're more or less just chasing your tail. If that happens, don't get frustrated, just angle them the, wrong, the opposite direction. Whatever the, the long direction is, is the direction that you need to angle the clamps in order to pull them in. Okay, so this is now done. Um, just remember, this top surface here, all the way around on the frame, is all going to be sanded off. So if you have your name printed on these, this is going to be sanded off um, after everything is glued up. You need to have your name and class period uh, written right here on this panel. This surface is lower than the styles and the rail surfaces. This is going to be sanded off, but this will not be uh, sanded by design. That's, that's kind of what I was shooting for when I set everything up. So I'm going to get this out of the way. And I'm going to set up for the other one. Okay, so I've got my styles. They're going to be face to face again. Bottom rail to my right, top rail to my left. So as you are looking at it, you're looking at it opposite. As I'm looking at it, this is the top, this is the bottom. So this is my left and my right. You're looking at it just the opposite. So keep that in, in a frame of reference when you're, when you're setting yours up. I've got my uh, space balls and my styles. Two space balls in each of my rails. Oops, lost one. Just make sure that they don't roll away. There we go. Okay, I'm going to start the gluing process again. So a bead of glue on each of the corners of the tongue. Put it in place. Get the panel in position as well. And then glue the other one. 
One thing that you never want to do when you're doing this is positioning your, your top and bottom rails and then trying to slide your panel in. That never ends well, so you don't ever want to do it that way. I'm going to try and wiggle these into position, getting them flush by hand. They look pretty good. Double check it. That feels good still. So I'm going to snug it again, tap it, tighten it up. Remove the glue from the panels. Go to my bottom. Tap it in. This one, there we go. It started to bounce out because you need to realize that having those two space balls in here, if you don't have just a little bit of pressure on here from the clamps, and I mean very, very little, then sometimes if you hit this, it'll just spring back because these, these space balls are really soft and very squishy. So sometimes they can bounce back out. This one was in a little bit too far. And back out right there. All right, snug it. Tap it and tighten it up. Remove the glue from the surfaces again. It's all tight. Now I check my diagonals. There's seven eighths that direction and a heavy seven eighths. So actually it's it's just very light. This is within reason. If you're off the width of one of these uh, marks, um, that's like splitting hairs. That's just not necessary. We are going to go back and we're going to square this panel, um, all four panels, so your front, your sides, and your back. We're going to go back and we're going to square everything uh, after everything's dried and sanded through the white belt. So at this point, um, this is now done. You can put your panels on the wall to dry and uh, you can move on to your next step. So. Um, that's it on this one, guys.